In fact, we'd love to hear it. So, final story of the day. This has been a big, big show. Right? Uh, speaking of female-led Marvel movies. Man, there it is again. Crushing these transitions. Uh, this story, Black Widow, was listed this week on VOD streaming services. What? Can you believe it? <laughs> what? Well, this story comes from uh, Mainframe News, a uh, article uh, written by Annie Banks. If you guys didn't know Mainframe Comic Con, not only the number one fan event on the planet, but it's also <laughs> a very reputable news outlet. Absolutely. So this story comes from Annie Banks. I'm pretty much just going to read most of the story for you. But uh, she was very, she did her uh, her best Jimmy Olsen and went out and really got the dirt Nice on this one. She said, there have been gambles, bets, and predictions made about the fate of Marvel's latest film, Black Widow, and where it would ultimately land in terms of its premiere. After its delay from its May 1st released slate, fans have been pushing for a Disney Plus debut, whereas it is still projected to release in theaters on November 6th. I don't know who's pushing. I don't either because it, for a Disney I want to see an action movie, a superhero movie in the theater. So I do I, not want to see this thing on VOD. Uh-uh. I mean, we have this tiny TV behind you. <laughs> so we watch our movies on. I'd much rather see it in the theater. But granted, there are a lot of people with huge, you know, TVs and theaters yeah. in their homes. So. Well, that surprised me <laughs> when I read that part of the article. But uh -huh. she went on to say she found, she said 80, over 80%, over 80% of Marvel fans wow. who had recorded their responses through an official Marvel poll huh. had said that they would rather watch Black Widow from the comfort of their homes. This means what? that with Black Widow... Uh, falling into the hands of another VOD doesn't seem to bother the general public. They just want to watch the film somehow. That shocks me. That absolutely shocks me. I don't, I don't know, <laughs> man. An official Marvel poll said 80 per over 80% of fans wow. would rather watch it at home. I call bullshit on I that. Know. I know. Not I, bullshit on your story, Annie. Nope, but nope, nope. We know you're good. Bullshit on that poll, man. <laughs> I know, right? So where did this come from? Yeah. Where did Annie Banks find this thing on VOD? It was on a website called, I believe, MoviesAnywhere.com. Oh. Or MoviesAnywhere.com. EDU, whatever the fuck it is, Movies Anywhere <laughs> uh, has already listed the movie on their site with a November 6th release date, which just so happens to be the same date it's supposed to release in theaters. Uh, this was reported by Jeremy Conrad of MCU Cosmic. So I don't know anything about MCU Cosmic. I don't know who Jeremy Conrad is. Yeah, or what was it, Movies Anywhere? Movies Anywhere. Never heard of it in my life. <laughs> Maybe they're popular. I don't know. I've never heard of Movies Anywhere, but it is know. officially listed on MoviesAnywhere.com. Annie so. Banks went on to write, An automated listing has similarly been posted for Mulan, uh, which also received an updated release date, standing as a telltale sign of what may be to come. Disney has not explicitly spoken up on the streaming site acquiring Black Widow, of course talking about Movies Anywhere, uh, as it's still said by Disney and Marvel that their movie will hit silver screens in the late fall. So Disney's saying they are recognize the fact that this is on this website uh -huh. but they're not saying they're not confirming how it wound or denying up. it <laughs> they're not confirming well they're still saying officially that it is going to hit theaters but that doesn't mean it can't be they're not available saying streaming as how well. this wound up uh it could be a day and date type situation just like yeah. bill and ted yeah um uh, yeah I'd, I mean, if they can make money both ways, why not try it? <laughs> Although I don't understand why they would do it through a different streaming service. I mean, yeah. they have they have their own. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. Well, anyway, the signs still remain unclear about the future of the standalone solo film that uh, has been awaited by fans for over a decade. But there is a chance that the highly demanded movie is gearing up for release in VOD. I don't see it happening. I don't either. But the fact that it popped up here raises the question of, is it even possible? Yeah. Yeah. So. It's definitely possible if the fact that Disney is aware that it's listed on this site and it's not immediately taken and it down, been taken down, then it's obviously a possibility. Very, very interesting. But I don't see Disney Plus not putting it on Disney. Plus. No, of course not. Because I mean that's what they're doing with Milan. But anyway, guys, this has been the longest <laughs> freaking show we've done in quite a while. So that's it, guys. Let us know in the comment section what do you think about a possible Black Widow released on VOD? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Would you watch it? Are you one of the 80% of people who would rather see it at home? Sound off in the comment section. We'd love to know. So, guys, that's our whole show. Thank you so much for watching Chuck Load of Comics. Join us here every single Sunday for a breakdown of all the nerd news, everything happening in the world of fandom every single week. It's like headline news for geeks. And uh, we will see you here next Sunday. Enjoy the fandom. And we'll see you here in approximately seven days. Have a fantastic week. Bye-bye.